Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new and if you are, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, make sure your post notifications are turned on so you never miss a video of mine. Today I'm starting off a weekend vlog. I had the plan to go to Ikea today, do like a full Ikea day because I wanted to get the Hovit mirror, I believe that's what it's called. But of course I checked this morning and it was out of stock. So I ended up just ordering it online and then it's going to be delivered like next week sometime. So at least I don't have to wait like a month like I was going to wait for or the CB2 mirror and it's a lot cheaper um, but we're headed out the door we're gonna go get some summer moon and we don't have any other plans except for I think we're gonna go out tonight on the east side which we haven't really done except we've been to like Whistler's but there are so many other bars to check out and I invited all my friends to do like a little pregame here I feel like I have not had summer moon in so long because the last time I was so anxious so I ordered a half calf um, but I'm craving something salty now that this is super sweet so we're gonna go get some breakfast tacos. Just got home from getting tacos at Pueblo Vieja and I made one of my own and then got one of their signatures and Ryan made three of his own. So we're about to dig in. It is so nice out today. So we wanted to do something active. So we dug out our tennis rackets that we bought from like Salvation Army like so long ago. And we're gonna play some tennis. Fit looks cute, babe. You ready to play some tennis? You wanted to bet me on something, but no, I don't wanna bet. I'm not good at this. Rock, paper, scissors, see who serves first. Okay, ready? One, two, three, shoot. I need, oh, shit. I literally just filled all my water. I'm taking a water break because I'm out of breath and I need a break. I feel like we haven't even been playing for that long, but it's kind of nice. Oh, Ryan. It's kind of nice because we just get exercise and it doesn't feel like exercise, but obviously I I don't play tennis. So when I'm bad at a sport, I get frustrated, especially like golf. Oh my God, when I miss the swing, so annoying, the most frustrating thing ever. Um, but it's getting hot out here, especially because I'm facing the sun. So I think I'm gonna switch with Ryan and play some more. How do we do today, babe? I did great. Oh, we forgot to tell them. We found out that one of the rackets was broken. Yeah. Literally like right when we started playing, so. Snap. Yeah. Can you buy a new one? Yeah. The tennis court we went to is in East Austin. Like, we've never seen all these nice houses and they're building so many new ones. And where we parked, there's like a 3D printed looking house. I don't know, I've seen it on TikTok. I'll show you guys. So this is the house I was talking about. Look at the texture of that house. I'm pretty sure it's 3D printed. I really wonder how big these houses are on the inside because they don't look very big, but I'm hoping they are. One bedroom, right? In the living yeah, room. maybe like three maybe bedrooms. Like bedroom? no. Back home and I just went to the package room, so I thought I would do an unboxing. For the longest time, I've been ordering like Amazon phone cases. They're like 20 bucks, maybe 15. But I decided to splurge and get a case to buy a case because I heard so many good things about it and I just kind of like wanted to customize my own case. And so I'm really excited to show this to you guys because I think it's so cute and like very not minimal, but also very me at the same time. 
Bone Kiss reveal. It has all these little sushi pieces all over it. It's so cute, and I really like this like nude pink color. So I'm gonna put this on my phone case. I ordered a pop socket a while ago, so I need to find that. I don't know where I put it, um, but it's perfect timing because I had a like phone case I bought on Amazon just like for the time being since I got like a new phone. Um, it took a really long time for this freaking customized case to come, so I wanted a case on my phone, but the like pop socket was like on. The case already and it just broke like literally yesterday so perfect timing next package is from 437 and they're really well known for like their um swimsuits but they just came out with activewear actually and they sent over a set so let's see what color this is i want to say this is like a brown color but it, yeah it looks like almost a purple color it's something really different because I feel like I'm not seeing this color really made in workout sets. So I'm excited to add this to my collection. I'm going to take a body shower because I feel all like dirty. And then we're finally getting my toes done. I think the last time I got them done was in January or maybe even before. Was it for New Year's? I think it was like before January. And they are so grown out and really bad. So I've been dreading it kind of just because I feel like it takes a lot of time to just sit there, but I don't really have anything else to do today. Um, I think my friends are coming over at like 7.38, so I'm going to just like chill, do my nails, maybe like take a nap if we have time, and then get ready and do my makeup and hair. I cannot wait for the surface area of this mirror to be a lot bigger and so it's not like in my mirror selfies. I know it's probably a stupid thing to like worry about, but I feel like I take a lot of photos in this mirror and so... Just really excited to get my Hobbit mirror from Ikea. Um, this mirror right here is like an Amazon mirror and it's 22 inches. And I think I measured it and it was like 21 and a half, but like on the specs online it said 22. And the mirror that I'm getting is 30 inches this way and 76 this way. So it's going to be a lot taller than this. So very exciting stuff. Wearing my favorite aloe sweatshirt. I would buy a hundred more of these sweat sets if it came in more colors. Like they have a lot of colors in the hoodie one. But I don't really love the hoodie. I actually have a white one and I really like that color, but I just love like a crew neck without a hood. And then I got these sweat shorts from like Aerie kind of a while ago. Then I'm just wearing these furry Burks and I think I'm gonna do French on my toes. I went with the French and I decided to treat myself with the deluxe pedicure. So I got like the whole paraffin treatment and everything like that. Just cause I have not gotten a pedicure done in how long has it been? Like a month or two. And I don't know, my, my feet were just needing a little bit of TLC. But right now, the reason why the cupboards are open is because I'm doing the dishes and just cleaning up. Um, because like I said, my friends are gonna come over for a pregame. And yeah, just trying to clean up the house. And then I'm gonna start getting ready. I might go on live, kind of feeling chatty, um, but we'll see, we'll see. In the middle of doing my makeup, laundry's going, watching Hannah G's house tour, drinking and drinking water. We also got a hydrant because I didn't really do it today. But my face is so dry and like I'm breaking out like these random little like, I don't know. I call them bug bite pimples. Like they're not pimples, but they do have like a little bit of pus in them. I don't know. They just like come out of nowhere and... My eyelids are dry and I'm just not having a good skin day, but I'm not gonna let that affect tonight because we are gonna have a fun night, but sometimes I do let it affect my night and I just, I don't know. I think I need to spray like a mist on my face because I just baked my face with powder and I don't think that really helped. I'm just gonna do some quick makeup. I was very last minute because I don't know what the hell I've been doing for the last few hours because I think I came home at like 6, maybe 5.30 and I guess I've just been cleaning up and I don't know, I really don't know what took me so long. Oh, I also hung up my new curtains. I'm going to post the video I did, I put like a TikTok up of it. Um, basically, 
I just had really short curtains. I think I talked about it in one of my Week in My Life videos. So I asked on my Instagram stories if I should get longer ones, and a lot of people said yes, so I ended up getting longer ones. And then I purchased them, and the ones that came were the wrong color, so then I purchased them again, and I made sure that the color was right, the sizing was right. So I put them up, and it was still too short and I was like there's no way that this is like 95 inches or whatever it said. I literally measured it and it wasn't and then I went back to check my order and it still said it was 95 inches. So that was odd. So then I had to get new ones. So I switched to a different brand and got new ones but now these have like the circles like the metal circle things at the top for the curtains and I don't really like that so I literally just went on Amazon and bought new curtains that are literally double the price but I'm like you know what F it. Like, these curtains are going to make me happy. Like, they already look really good. I just, like, no, I'm not going to really like the metal thing at the top. So, I got new ones. I think I bought, like, literally five curtains. And I need to go return the rest once these come. I think they should be coming tomorrow, so I'll show you guys. During my birthday party, I had two drink sponsors. And... Um, I had way more like of these. They're called Blue Norther and they are made in Austin, Texas, which is super cool that they sponsored my birthday party. So we have like half of them left and there's so much. So I put them all in the fridge for this pregame so that we can make space in our house finally because they've been taking up so much cabinet space. I think I'm literally going to go to sleep with a whole bottle of ointment on my face because there's even some like really weird like texture bumpy stuff on my forehead and all I can think is that I'm really dry because my skin usually acts up when it's not getting enough moisture. So I'm gonna try that out tonight and see if it works. See the setup tonight, boys. Tequila neat and, and blood and honey. What the? Ew. Dude. What? what? <laughs> some flavor, I guess, huh? Oh my gosh. Sophie, do you want some tequila? Oh, Ryan just gave her a bath, by the way, and she looks very nice. Sophie! Hi, little Lion King girl. She needs a haircut soon, but that's a lot. Should I see half this? You, you got it. Chug, chug. Ugh. The beer helped with that. You didn't even make crazy. a face, really. Babe, don't have emotions. <laughs> POV, you just cleaned your whole apartment for your friends to come over and pregame. And you haven't seen your apartment this clean in so long. Also, look at my hair. It's getting so long, guys. I'm so excited. And it was just looking really freaking dead. And then I put a hair oil in it. And I'm like, I'm actually really shook that it does not look bad anymore. I had just straightened it so you could like see my fried ends. So I really do need to get a haircut. But also, this is my outfit. Top is mesh key. My boobs are definitely falling out of this little slit right here. <laughs> this little cardigan with the hood is from Misguided. Jeans are Abercrombie and Fitch, and then shoes are Air Force Ones. I have like designated bar Air Force Ones, and then we have my a little bit cleaner <laughs> Air Force Ones, but they're still kind of dirty, honestly. Cheers, free gaming at Sonali. <laughs> such a good host. And you were five hours late, bitch. <laughs> Like, Let me see it. Why'd you touch the what cactus? <laughs> Why'd you touch it? You're not supposed to touch a cactus. <laughs> Happy Sunday. We are actually going to Ikea today and I try to do this little hairstyle, but I don't know if I look like an egg or not, <laughs> but I kind of like it. I don't know. We'll see how I feel throughout the day, but I'm also craving Indian food. Out of nowhere, I had the craving for butter chicken, so I think we're going to try to get Clay Pit tonight, which is one of my favorite Indian restaurants in Austin. Great, thank you. getting a little snacky snack from McDonald's. I haven't had a McChicken in years. And that was like something I ate every week, I wanna say. Like, you know how in your childhood memory, you think you did something like every single day, but it only happened like three times? <laughs> so I think that's probably what it was, but it was always so good. But when are they gonna like bring back those crispy chicken snack wraps? 
Like, why did they take them off the menu? I just want to, I just want to talk. They're not seasonal. They literally had it all my childhood. That's like when my mom started getting healthier, she would like get us those instead of the McChicken. I think that's definitely so seasonal. But they haven't been back in so long. I don't think they're going to. It's at the McRib. It's like a special limited edition. Oh, oh. Well, seasonal means like they're going to come back the next no, season, you know? it's like a specialty item. Hmm. Well, I don't even know what we're going to get at Ikea. I think we're just going to look around. Kind of want to get some, like, maybe organizational stuff. Oh, I also forgot to measure, like, the, the stuff in my filming room because I was telling Ryan it would be nice to have, like, a small sliver small. of a, not nightstand, but uh, what's it called? A table, like a little table, side, side table for, um, beside the couch because then I can, like, put my drinks down when I'm editing on the couch. So, I'm gonna look for that. I don't even know if they like have anything like that, but I was looking online and they have a lot of like storage and just like cupboard kind of things for very, very cheap prices. And I've been like looking up on TikTok like all these IKEA DIYs and it is amazing what people can like do with all of this stuff. It's Ryan's first time at Ikea. I think we should get some meatballs. We just had McDonald's. So? <laughs> First impression of the yogurt cup. <laughs> Looks a little icy. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. I feel like I should take a lactate pill. It tastes like like a kitty ice cream, you know. What? Like a kitty ice cream. Yeah. When you eat as a kid, I don't know. What? <laughs> Just got their hot dog and it looks very unappetizing. <laughs> they burnt it. So we're here at Ikea in Austin. <laughs> um, well, food pizza vlog. review time. Might need not watch parcel. Give it one bite and you have to give it a rating out of 10. Okay. Wow. Pizza with a crunch. Very nostalgic. Yeah, it's going good. <laughs> like Red Baron pizza from middle school. Or like, not Chuck E. Cheese, because Chuck E. Cheese wasn't this thick. It's like sweet sauce. Yeah. It's actually really good. Interesting. It's really good. What do you give it? Give like a 6. Um, point 0.2. I'm a 7.5. Maybe. What'd you think about Ikea? Oh, uh, yeah. Hot. I'm really tired, so I think I'll enjoy it more. It wasn't. Yeah. I really, well, at first, like, we were walking through and we were like, when is this going to end? But then when it ended, I was like, wait, that was it? <laughs> I got a little cute little organization, kitchen things. I got a new base. I'm really, really excited about that. Measuring cups, which were really much needed because I have, like, two sets that I have, like, two pieces from each set. It's just chaotic every time I have to bake. Tell them what we're getting for dinner. So we were gonna get clay pit, but now we've eaten all this stuff. Should we even, do we even need dinner first of all? But I forgot that I bought those mushrooms at Central Market that I was gonna make for dinner tonight. Mushrooms and pasta or something. Now I kind of want to save it for like a night that we really haven't eaten. So we're gonna like enjoy it, you know? Mm -hmm. So we'll be hungry for it. But tomorrow, I'm obviously gonna start my week in my life vlogs. There's this place that's been on my bucket list called Sway. It's a Thai food place. And I think they're like reopening. Maybe they've been closed down this whole time. I'm not sure. Maybe they're like reopening later hours. I will keep you guys updated when I figure it out tomorrow. But they are doing like a half off 
today and Monday. So um, the girl who like runs their social media told me about it and she was like, make a reservation because it's all half off. And I was like, oh my God, this is going to be crazy. So I'm really excited about that. So maybe like we'll make the mushroom pasta on Tuesday. What do you think? Why not tonight? I don't know if I'll be hungry. I didn't get too much at Ikea, but I wanted to show you guys the things that I got. So first off, starting with this little juice bottle. I had like a bigger juice container because usually I'll use my Air One bottles. And the last time I put juice in there, it didn't really last as long because I don't think it was like sealed tightly. I also got measuring cups. It's been on my list to get. So I'm glad I can finally check that off. I feel like I never have deep enough containers to put like leftovers. So I got this and I had to buy the lid separately, which was kind of weird, but it's a cute lid. And then probably my favorite thing I got was this vase. It is so pretty, and I feel like it is going to look even better than my clear vases I have. It just, like, I feel like looks better with this gray countertop, too. So I think I'm going to, like, transfer my roses into here because um, they're currently sitting in this, like, CB2 vase. I saw this hack on TikTok to get all of these canned beverages in your fridge really quick. So you open both sides up and make sure the top of the can is at the top, obviously. And then you just put this in here. Oh, shit. And then you just push your hand through and they all come out the back. Bam. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's just one of those days where I'm just so tired and I really just want to get in bed and watch some YouTube. I feel like I've been creating content so much that I don't have time to watch all my favorite YouTubers. So I have so many videos in my subscription box that I need to watch. So I think that's going to be the rest of my night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for daily content and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.